somebody else. They have done a brilliant compilation which speaks to the, the, the allegation that Nkrumah was a dictator and that he brought in the Preventing Detention Act and so on. And they're giving details what events took place to compel the newly independent government to introduce the Preventing Detention Act. If you go and buy grenades and you start exploding the grenades among school children, killing them, like Madame Asatua who died last year, if you had policemen to go and shoot the president, you understand? Long before independence, Kwame Nkrumah was staying in a house near the Malata market with his mother, Madame Nyaniba. He had not become president then. They went and bombed that house. Now, they claim that they were bombing him because he was in this. The man was not in power. You started bombing him. So how can you use dictatorship to justify that? In any case, Ghana was not the first country in the world to introduce the Preventive Detention Act. As a matter of fact, India did. Many countries did. As we sit in the studio today, Britain has the equivalent of the Preventive Detention Act. This anti-terrorism law that Britain has passed, that Germany has passed, that the United States of America has passed as well. They are the same, like the Preventive Detention Act. So those who say that Nkrumah was a dictator because he, 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 he parliament enacted the law and he signed. We should, we should understand that. It was parliament which enacted the law. He, as prime minister or president, only signed the law. Are they saying, can they say that the United States of America is a dictatorship under Biden? Will they say that Britain under, under this, this trust is a dictatorship? Huh? Me, I think that they are dictatorships, but they cannot say it. You understand? And if they cannot say it, how then does Nkrumah become a dictator on the basis of the Preventing Detention Act, which they instigated? In any case, when Nkrumah was overthrown on February 24, 1966, what happened? They claimed that they had, they had, they had, they had, they had, they had uh, removed the Preventing Detention Act, but they then replaced it with the protective custody law, which are the same provisions as the Preventive Detention Act. So what moral authority do they have to be talking about Preventive Detention Act and, and so on?